Hey guys, it's Joe Boy again. He's uh, got another video about my aquaponic system. So we've added a couple things. We added some driftwood in the main fish tank, and the driftwood is going to allow it to lower the pH um, naturally. We'll probably get some more. But you see, we've got a whole bunch of fish in there now, and uh, got over 100 fish. And uh, the, another cool thing we've added is a completely natural aerator, one that does not require power. And uh, we're supplementing it with a powered one, but for right now we're leaving it like this so you guys can see it. You can see all the air that's being pumped in. And uh, uh, that is occurring with the water flow that is being pumped in at the same time. It runs into a valve that splits, um, has a cut in the valve on purpose, and that lets air into it, and the air gets trapped in with the water and gets forced through the pipe, and down and gets released. And if you take a look right there, that looks pretty awesome. And that's all without power. Um, now the powered one we're using right now for regular use, um, and the reason why we're experimenting with it is we're not sure yet how strong and how much oxygen is going in with this uh, uh, setup and so this is why we are uh, still using a powered one um, but so far the few people that know what they're doing that have seen this um, think that it's doing great now here's what our track looks like now you see we have plants growing in it already and uh, We've got uh, uh, some more fish in here. This is just a goldfish in a pleco. And the pleco will clean the fish tank and keep it running nice and clean. And then the goldfish will keep giving fertilizer. And more importantly, they will eat all the mosquitoes that may come and choose to land on the water and create and, 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 and do larva. And the whole point is we don't want this to uh, increase the mosquito population in the neighborhood. So we have some more plants here, and we've got some strawberries, and uh, uh, we've got some uh, green onions, some kale, um, some variety of other plants um, over here. And again, we're, we're not filling up the whole thing yet, we're just experimenting because we are going a little bit uh, faster than what's supposed to occur right now. Um, we have a lot to be going on, and uh, uh, we're, we're doing this a lot quicker. Um, we're supposed to wait at least uh, two months before planting. So we know that these plants might not work so well so we're experimenting just to see and then on this side we have more green onion and we have some lettuce that has been doing awesome um, it's grown so much since we put it in there and it's ridiculously awesome with how how fast this stuff is growing so I'm very excited to see that and look who just woke up Tiberius how are you yeah. are you doing okay you want to go bowling? Of course, you always want to go bowling. I love you, Tiberius. So, anyone who has any questions about how this system works, um, we can take a look. I, I can hear it now. It looks like the sump pump, or not the sump pump, but the uh, the bell siphon is about to release. And uh, um, some people have been asking about how to deal with uh, bell siphons that aren't releasing properly. Um, where they just stay in the release state and what ends up happening is the water stays really low. Um, there is a fix for that. Um, you can take a three-quarter inch cap and put it on the end of your bell tail, tail um, the extra plastic leave on the side, and if you put it on the end and let it float with the water, fill up and float with the water, what will end up happening is it will um, rise up with the water level and then seal that cap and cause the break of the, uh, the siphon. And so if you have a large bed like I do, and you're having problems with the bell siphon uh, uh, properly disconnecting, um, I mean breaking the siphon, um, that will help solve that problem. We had the problem here. It took a while for me to figure it out, but uh, um, it works, and that's all that matters. Um, next week, I'll show you how to clean out a swirl filter. We're not going to do it today, but we'll work on it next week. Thank you much, and you all have a good one.